Hello again folks, this is Barry with Barry's 8-Track and Classic Car Radio Repair and we are doing uh, video number 100. This is the uh, 100th video that I'm making to show off my work on 8-Track machines and uh, various other uh, th things to do with 8-Tracks. And uh, today's uh, subject is going to be uh, the, the issue of the high-end Akai machines uh, which one thing I noticed over the years is that they all run just a touch slow. Uh, only the high-end models, the CR83 does not, uh, but the the CR80, 80D, 81D, uh, and the CR80D SS, and also the GXR82D, uh, they all use the same motor, and uh, consequently they all are just a touch slow by a little bit over uh, 1%, possibly even closer to 2%. So the first thing we'll do is um, We'll go ahead and pop up. I've got a, let me see if I can find my overhead camera again. I never remember what button that one's on. There we are. Okay, uh, you can see here that I've got an RCA test cartridge with a 3000 hertz frequency. Uh, that's our wow and flutter test tape, uh, but it's also handy for checking, uh, checking speed if you've got a frequency counter. And uh, we'll go back to me here for a moment. Uh, what I've got here is uh, I wanted to make sure that this test tape's frequency is accurate because I've worked with some alignment tapes in the past that were way off proper frequency. Uh, it seems that the ones that were made by tape deck manufacturers as opposed to like Nortronics and uh, the GC Electronics alignment tapes, uh, the ones made by the actual manufacturers were much better and much more accurate. So uh, I wanted to make sure that this frequency was accurate. So I, uh, I use this uh, as a reference the, a lot of Delco units, uh, car H track players, have this little strobe pattern on the flywheel. And if you, if you watch this uh, under fluorescent light, if it's running at the right speed, this pattern will appear to stand still. Um, if it's running a little bit slow, it'll, it'll be backing up slowly, uh, the image that is, you know, the, the strobe image. And of course, if it's running too fast, it'll, it'll move a little bit faster than it's, uh, you know, not standing still. But at any rate, when this pattern appears to stand still, then you know the speed is perfect and correct and that any frequencies that are on tapes that you're testing with it um, you know you can check their accuracy so what we're going to do now is um, first I'm going to pop this tape into uh, an Akai that uh, I replaced the motor with my special adjustable speed motor and we're going to take a look at our uh, wow and flutter meter and we're going to check the uh, you know make sure that this frequency comes uh, pretty close to 3000 so we'll go ahead and pop this in and uh, this tone might be a little bit uh, aggravating. And we're just going to let this run for a minute, let the speed stabilize. Okay, now we'll take a look at the while and flutter reading. Okay, so we're very close. We're at 3001, 3002. It'll probably even go uh, down to 3000 because I, I did adjust it pretty meticulously. So we're super close there. There's, there, there's our 3,000. The speed is stabilized, and so it's uh, hovering right at 3,000. So that's a good thing. And incidentally, the wow and flutter on this machine in which I replaced the uh, motor is at right at 0.1%. That's a tenth of 1% wow and flutter. Uh, the specification on the Akai CR81D uh, specifies uh, the target as I uh, explained in the last video, the target is 0.25% or less, uh, but they only guarantee it 0.35% or less. So to have this thing uh, at right at 0.1% is just fantastic, you know, wow and flutter specs. So now we've uh, we verified that the frequency, that the speed is adjusted correctly on this unit, and that uh, the wow and flutter is good too. Now we're going to switch to this other unit here, the, the unit on top, which still has the original motor. And the way we can prove that is by that huge pulley that's spinning around. Uh, no other motor is going to fit that pulley. That pulley's got, uh, it looks like maybe just over a quarter inch internal diameter. So no eight track motor is going to fit that pulley. Uh, which means, of course, that when I replace the motor, I also replace the pulley. So we're gonna we're gonna hook our our amplifier to the to the original, and we're gonna see just how slow the the uh, the speed is with the uh, with the Akai's original motor. So let's pop this tape in here, give it a little chance to stabilize. All right, now let's take a look at our 
at our meter here, wow well, inflator meter. Oh, must have the wrong camera. There we are. Okay, 29.77. So um, that's about, uh, oh, I would say that's probably a, about uh, 0.6 or 0.7 percent. Uh, I, could, I could go check it real quick. 29.75. Yeah, let me just go check that real quick on my computer. on a frequency of 29.77 the uh, the deck is about uh, let me look over my screen again it is 0.766 percent slow uh, so that's more than half of one percent and uh, I had noticed over the years that this is uh, you know running a little bit slow at, at, its, at its original speed as you can see my wow and flutter uh, specs are roughly the same, actually even just a touch better than with the original Akai motor. Using using my replacement motor, uh, you get a little bit, just a little bit less wow and flutter, which is still well, well within spec, and uh, and you also get the correct speed. So, since these Akais, uh, these high-end Akais have a strong failure trend of the motors crapping out, um, it's never a bad idea to go ahead and send your machine in to have the motor replaced because if it doesn't crap out it's still running at the wrong speed and you may not have noticed it before but now that I've pointed it out it, it may bother you enough if you're a really audio purist uh, to go ahead and send it in for a replacement motor so that's all I really wanted to uh, get across today is um, is that little phenomenon concerning the uh, the Akai's they all run just a touch slow uh, that is the higher end models the, the really big heavy models with that big old huge AC motor and there's nothing you can do to adjust the speed on these AC motors because they're synchronized to the AC line uh, so you can't change your power line frequency so uh, you're just stuck with uh, with replacing it with something that works a little bit better so that being stated this is Barry with Barry's 8-track and classic car radio repair if you have an 8-track unit in need of service of course you can reach me directly at 928 533 9666. My very informative website is in the description below. Thank you very much for watching and listening, and we'll see you next time. Having fun, driving my classic ride. Got a Mustang, buddy, it's a 69, but she ain't sounding so fine. Driving this car, I can't hear the guitar, and all my tapes run slow too. Radio smoking, eight track decks broken. What can I do? Send it to Eight Track Repair Center. Eight Track Repair Center. Eight Track Repair Center. Eight -track repair center